beautiful souls. I'm Michelle Decay. Welcome to my channel, Soulful and Unplugged. Okay, maybe I went a little overboard on the cushion. It looked good, but yeah, <laughs> it's a bit too big. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how um, these energies have been affected me. And uh, usually when I experience um, a very strong energetic shift, usually afterwards I feel extremely tired almost like I am anemic. I'm feeling so lazy. Not exactly sure why I'm feeling lazy. I've had low iron in the past and uh, this is kind of what it felt like. Plus, I went dancing last night. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I had such a good time. Um, yeah, this is how I spent August 8th. And I did, as you saw, record a few things about feeling really lazy. <laughs> and whatever you feel like doing or not doing, it's perfect. If you don't feel like getting out of bed, don't get out of bed. If you feel like going dancing, go dancing. If you feel like just what would be normally called, I guess, lazy. <laughs> just be lazy. <laughs> I will include them in the video, of course. Uh, because it is the truth of where I'm at but I also felt that you deserved better um, it's fine to feel lazy but you deserve much more and this is what I want to offer as a way of thanking you for subscribing and for your incredible love and support um, I have something special to offer I've been getting from everywhere messages saying you have got to make these um, energy readings uh, an offering. So because of an extraordinary metaphysical event that happened to me when I was eight years old and the succeeding two years of astral projection and energetic beings that taught me all about the different realms, I was left with an ability to read the energy fields. I always thought it was a curse. I never understood what it was. But I knew at a certain point in my life that I could read these energies and people started asking me for readings and I would do them. I just noticed that they were receiving healings from simply what I was sharing. What's been happening lately because of the incredible energies is that I've been pushed by my energetic beings <laughs> to stop uh, resisting what it is that I do and to just simply do it. And so um, I've been greatly encouraged by specifically two other YouTubers who are very gifted in the um, card reading and energetic reading area. One is Cynthia Greer and the other is Shane from the Spirit of the Cosmos. And we did an interchange. So I did a reading for them and they did a reading for me individually. It was extraordinary. It's time, just do it. Because I've been doing this underground for a long time, it was a great way for me never to have to, you know, get out there and do it. But at this point, I really feel that um, some of you could probably benefit from some of these energetic readings. I tap into the purity of spirit of whoever I'm reading. I tap into their soul, their heart. I see the most extraordinary aspect of themselves. And I do readings that can bring hope and inspiration, that can elevate the frequency at which they are vibrating. And for that, I tap into this very, very high vibrational love unconditional love and compassion energy and from there I speak what comes up so if you post in the comments a question that you want me to answer I will do a short video one to two minutes answering the question at the energetic level um, I would ask that you keep it away from politics or world events um, it's beyond the scope of what I want to do right now and keep in mind that the answer will be public. So um, if you post a question, I will 
say the name of your channel and I will um, do my answer publicly. It will be a very positive answer always, loving, unconditionally accepting and from the highest love energetic realm that exists. So that I can offer and I think it'll be fun. Be a fun way for me to, you know, give back. So I'm going to do maybe a little sample uh, right now. I'm going to see if I can find someone who's willing to be a little public about it and see what happens. So without further ado, here is my reading of Eva. This is Eva. You know Eva. Hello. You've met her in previous videos and this is her beautiful uh, home. And um, the garden that I was showing when, when we first came in, that's, that's uh, Eva's garden. So Eva, I really want to thank you for accepting to be my guinea pig. <laughs> I'm very excited. Unreal. I'm very excited. Yes. I'm going to have to learn to do yeah. this. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, and uh, what I told Eva is that it, it's all open. Any question, any area that she has a question about, um, I will do my best to answer from the energetic realms. And whatever message I receive, I will do my very best and come from um, the purest, most loving place, well, which I is where the energy field that I read from transmits the uh, information. Well, I, I, I had a question and I thought about a few of them and I thought, oh, not personal, but there was another question I thought, because you do read the energies. What do you feel in my backyard? <gasps> That's an amazing question. The first thing that uh, I'm hearing is that every time um, the wind blows unexpectedly. It's the fairy um, realms saying hello. But every time a chime rings, it's, it's a special message for you that says, you're loved and cherished. We see you, we see you, we see you. So wow. It's kind of personal, it but kind of personal. <laughs> but no, it's about my garden. <laughs> wow. Okay. So the other thing that um, I always receive when I come to your garden is um, the fairies. So there is a very, very strong fairy energy. A chime. <laughs> and the wind. And the wind. Wow. What did I say it meant? <laughs> I said. Uh, when the, the chime, chime goes that, uh, that I you're loved, loved and, and cherished, cherished and we see you we, yeah, see, we, you, we see, see you we see you okay that it, they That's haven't so rung on their own no oh, they've been sitting the here whole time morning. yeah and they just okay so my sense of this place is um it's kind of like a haven like a haven for the fairies they absolutely love what you've done with this place they love your energy um you have a very very strong connection to all animals and all nature mm -hmm. and they sense that but not only that they um they love playing in this yard that's so great does that that's ring so it oh completely i've actually had people who are not into the spiritual world or energy say you've got to ha be having fairies here people who are not wow. even connected to that isn't that interesting yeah so yeah. i'm so glad to hear that yeah is there anything else that you want to ask um, well, my mom had a hand in this, in the garden as well. So I remember when, before my mom passed away, she would sit here and go, Evie, pl put the plant over there. What about that plant there? We'd go, we'd go to garden centers and pick out plants. So do you have any sense of her being here? Or? I, I, I was just yes. going to say, I just got a, an image of um, your, your mom and the fairies walking together the path and she she does she walks here wow she comes to visit and before when see I shouldn't censor I just didn't I didn't want to go there because mm -hmm. it's personal mm -hmm. and I I did censor a little bit so the no chimes <laughs> the chimes yes. what came through was that when the chimes ring it's your mom saying hello oh, wow. so 
Yeah, yes, they're saying I love you, you're cherished, I see you, I see you, I see oh, you. Oh, that's so beautiful, Michelle. But that's oh. what it means. Okay, thank you, that's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Thank you for asking that question, because it is, we did go in the more personal. Yes, even though it was about my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and you all know how our backyard is. <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> and uh, I will link up the other two videos that I have on on your backyard so thank you Michelle oh. thank you so much thank you thank you for being here with us yes thank you so much okay so leave your questions I will pick five and I will do a very short video on each I don't know if I'll be able to do it every day I'm gonna try I'm gonna try um, and uh, see what happens. And here is another very important point. I, I don't give predictions. Um, I read the energies and I can sort of read the flow of where the energies is going, are going, but I cannot tell the future. Um, and uh, I can read what is going on in the present moment and I can read a heart and I can read a soul. I have psychic abilities as we all do but it is very energy specific so keep that in mind so I will pick five and do five short videos on those questions and at the same time I'll be um, promoting your channel a huge thank you to Cynthia Greer and Shane from Spirit of the Cosmos who have both been um, champions and uh, without them I don't think I would have gotten the um, the motivation to do this or the inspiration or the courage it does take courage to do this <laughs> all right i love you guys thank you so much see you next week love you guys bye <laughs>